Hello and welcome everyone to part 16 of the Saxon Let's Play of Total War Attila. We continue where we left things off last time and we've got this naval battle now. I have to fight it. Um, I'm actually, I, because a few of you were saying actually do far better off if you order resolved. I actually tested it out because I was like, really? How much of a difference can it make? Um, I was hoping it would actually work because I don't fit, um, like my chances here. But protective, balanced or aggressive, whatever I do, I lose. I die. So there's only one thing left to see if I can actually improve my odds by fighting it myself. So in we go. Uh, this is not going to go well. Uh, it's their, their archer ships are going to cause me a lot of a lot of problems. So I'm going to try and get my slingers to target their their archer ships as soon as possible because they're going to be flaming arrow burning me all the time. Plus sea sickness has a huge huge penalty against the effectiveness of my men, which we'll see once we actually hit the start battle button. General over here, take these guys with you. Take cavalry over this side and war dogs, you're not going to be useful at all, but I'll have to go with it. So if I start battle and if I show these guys, these normally have like a 50-40 melee attack defense. You can see all the, the red markings, that's how much I've been debuffed. Um, I have my stats reduced, which is just not good. Look on the horizon! Reinforcements. But anyway, um, these are my best units along with my general, so I've got to kind of keep them. I need to kind of engage them with one unit and then flank with these guys. That's the only kind of thing I can think that's going to help make this work. Now, actually, slingers. Looks like I want you guys going over here and you three. You three going over this way. And it's spears that I want engaging. With these guys. So we'll see how this goes. Not necessarily the most confident about this. Flank them with this unit here. You guys on that one there. You guys on these guys. You guys on this. This is going to burn me, that's the problem. They're already at 22% damage. I need to find their general over here so I can try and take him out early. Because at least these guys, their reinforcements have taken the same kind of penalties that I have. We're, we're trying to just mob their general here though. As many ships as I can throw on them. But that's not good because we're going to get caught up here and set on fire. They sending against me here. Christ, they're really hitting me hard. And they're trying to burn us. General, help us out. You guys get in here as well. If we could take out their general, though, we're just trying to mob him. Take out their admiral, then maybe you've got a chance. Uh, yeah, loads of them fleeing already. Which is obviously not what we want to see. They're detaching with this unit to try and help out. We are jumping on that general though. Where's their other general? That's what I want to know. Must be over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Uh oh. Yeah, that's them all dead. So if we can mob their general as well, kill both of them, then we can but hope. That unit's gone. Take out the ship. We can hope. Cool, we've got their general. We've got their general. Or their admiral, rather. Oh, their other general's going to go down as well. Come on. Come on. Enemy general's dead. Nice. Come on. On to the next unit. Just, just pen them in something firing on us. Oh, you're fighting here, sorry. But General, you can detach and go here. These guys are coming in against you anyway, the hurlers. Come on. Ready. 
More of you need to help these guys out. Need to mob on them. At least they're on fire. <laughs> oh dear, they're breaking. And they're all setting, setting me on fire. Best units just reduced to nothing, basically. These ar archer ships. So annoying. General, go on in, go on in, go on in. You guys go in as well. Their ship's burning, so that's fine, they're dead. Go after these guys here. You've nearly got the Nordic band, I think. Come on back in. Go, General, go. Oh, God, they all just broke all my men there. Come on, General, come on, General, come on, General, come on, General. Ah, you guys broke. No. Right, you guys need to go in here. You guys need to go in here. You guys need to get back in here. Oi. Turn. Get back in here. These Thrall Spears are actually really good. They're holding really well. Okay, we've got them, we've got them over there, but they're winning decisively. I need you back into the fight, though. We've got these guys here. So when my men are all back on our ship. Come on, Esla. We can take these guys out. Come on. Trying to get through the barricade that's been created all these dead ships. Right, General's free. Get in and fight the, the Thralls. Take out those skirmishes there for now. Where are they wavering? No, you guys can you guys can do it, come on. Now your sails have been burned, but come on. Why is this looking so bleak over here? These skirmishes surely they, their morale surely has to break. They've lost both their generals. Come on, yeah, that's that's the colour we want to see. That's the colour we want to see. Come on! These guys are still are they still fighting, even though their ship won't go down. They're still burning. These guys are going down, that's good. I think these guys are fighting on here? Looks like it. The general's not actually fighting anyone though. We need to get him in. They're, they've won there. Come on. Let's get these guys in here. Okay, that's that enemy ship on fire. That has broken my men, but that's fine. Taking out these guys now. Come on. Just a few men left. Come on, we will we will win this. I should also say, I've got all the names that you guys have suggested for various armies and what have you. I don't need any more. Thank you very much for all... Um, Uh, submitting loads, loving the Game of Thrones theme. It's been great. Uh, but I've got loads now, so I, I am all good in that respect. Thank you. Right, we're going to break these guys. We're going to break these guys. Come on. Yes, good. Right. All of you on the last unit. Come on. I've lost, obviously, a lot of men in this. I had a 2,500 strong army. Oh, thank crap for that. <laughs> End it. I don't want to chase anymore. Oh, my God. <sighs> I did not expect to come out of that alive. Especially with Esla. Damn. Couldn't lose him. He's my faction heir. A Pyrrhic frickin' victory. Uh, I am going to take on warriors just in case I'm attacked by anything else. But damn, right. We've taken out a small force and a navy. They're going to need to be pulled back now. But yeah, I'll be renaming my armies now. Uh, but thanks again for those guys. Esla, you're getting back to Britain. Stat. We need to rebuild your army. You had a pretty powerful force, and now it's now it's nothing. Oh Christ, that was tough. But the thing is, I think. What's this? Ah, <laughs> seriously. It's bloodied. In this feud, we offer peace today or the sword tomorrow. If I can have two thousand from you, then yes. 
Only the greatest dare speak of peace to their enemies. Only the weak seek the death of all. I'll take that. Why not? They're only a little poxy. Oh, they've actually gained some, some men. If they do turn on me, I'll finish them off. But better to gain some quick cash, especially when I need to rebuild armies. But, uh, yeah, actually, that's the first naval battle I think I've honestly enjoyed since, like, Napoleon or Empire Total War. That was, that was frantic, fast, well, not fast-paced, actually. It was frantic and fun. I had fun. So many units. Shh, 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 shh. How is my upkeep that high when I've just lost a load of men? Not a clue. Uh, we killed that. We, yeah, we killed, like, two of them. Got a noble birth. So what the hell is going on? Am I just not... What? Where is my money going? Unit recruit, is that that's all the units I've recruited? Um, hang on, let me just sort out what the hell is going on with the older income. Um Let's find out where we're not taxed. Everything is taxed. What the hell then? Autumn. Um no, not that one. Taxes. Total expenditure. Army upkeep. Navy upkeep. Is it because of my navy I built up? I just lost some of my navy. What the hell? Super confused right now. Just the army upkeep. Oh, 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 oh. No, I know why. It's all these mercenaries that I recruited. Okay. Yeah. It's all these guys that I recruited last thing because I thought these guys were going to come and attack me and they haven't. Uh, which is annoying. Um, now I could obviously get around with these guys, but I was just going to try and take out their capital and break them, because as far as I can tell, yeah, they've only got the one, I have an opportunity not to miss with, uh, Gius, my faction leader, my king in the north, we're going to rename these armies in a second, I'm just kind of gathering my thoughts, um, so yeah, we're going to have some trouble with economy, unless I do that, oh god, that, Nearly takes it positive. Okay, is anywhere else really pissed? Ooh. Current and predicted. So they will stay. They're, they're fine with the high tax rate. They're fine. That will start going down. That will just start going down. That's going to make it worse. But that's the only one. Okay, we're going to do that. Then. We're going to do that. We're going to pop the tax rate up just for a turn. Because that one's only doing that. That's the only one that's really unhappy over here. We can deal with whatever's going on here. Ah, uh, we've got these guys. We were trying to push against the, the Caledonians. Oh, good. They don't have forces here. They're weakened anyway. Right, we're going straight on in. Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve this one just to get into it. Oh, and of course... Now, since the um, Blood and Burning and Celtic DLC are out, obviously they've got brand new units. They've got Celtic skirmishes and spears and all that jazz. We are going to we're going to protective stance. Whew. Right. Um, they're probably pretty broken. So, I'm as much as I would love to loot and subjugate, um, I am probably just going to occupy, not to damage at all. Because actually, yeah, we can just repair everything here. It's already our stuff. As well as if I'd sacked it. I'm going to do a lot better from that. And now my income's going up. So I can actually probably knock those taxes down. No. We'll keep it up for a turn. There we go. There's that uh, force. There gone. So they're now a horde. Boom. Deal with that. Right. Let's rename these armies. First of all, just apply these abilities to him. Public order government province. No. If anything, we want uh, more cunning for upkeep cost reduction. Well, there's charge bonus and recruitment cost. And cavalry as well. Um, more cunning, though, will give me a slight uh, reduction in upkeep cost. So let's do that with that one there. Uh, unit experience for cavalry. Zeal. Uh, we'll go for the cavalry commander, then, in that case. Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. That one and that. Uh, no, oh, balls. That one and that one. There we go. Cool. Nice. Right. Let's. We'll start off with my general's army. Uh, my generals, my faction leaders, which you guys obviously. Um, 
Uh, I was looking at my list of ones, but I think you guys just wanted me to call this one um, the King in the North. <coughs> um, I think that was the one, or the young, or the young wolf. But I think it was King in the North. Oh, didn't mean to screen Steam screenshot that one. The King in the North as this army. Um, right, next army is. Uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll name actual proper armies first. So these guys, they've just Ready claimed one. For Force details. The Wolves of War. I am going to name these guys. Hmm. Got so many good choices. Um. Call these one. Sons of the First Men. And actually, I didn't want to call my uh, my King's Army the King in the North. I wanted to call these ones um, the Wolves of the North. The Wolves of the North. There we go. Um, someone suggested, where was it? Um, oh, it was was it Esler's force over there? Well, he's going to be pulled back anyway to Britain. You're on double time anyway. Spirit of the Frost. I think someone said the the Northern Army, the army that was in the North. Uh, what was it, Esler? We brought him over, wasn't it? I think. Anyway, he's going to be called the Knight's Watch. Um, with his force there, but I've got loads of other ones. I've got the King's Guard, Lion's Bane, Men of the Watch, the Man Flayers, Fists of the First Men, Ironwood, um, Aegis, or Aegis. I always, I've always called it Aegis, so I'm just going to stick with calling it Aegis, even if it's wrong. Just one of them things. Um, so we've got these guys here still to name the Heralds of the Great Giant. We will rename you. You're defending the homeland, so. We'll call you Hmm. Looking through with all the choices I have. Um Um Hmm. I'll call these guys Winter's Bane, which is actually quite um, quite apt, I think. Seeing as these guys have, the Geats have um, no attrition, they don't take any attrition from winter climate change, and it will be winter next turn, but we'll have to defend our settlement against them. I think that's quite apt, don't you? Um, if you feel any of these existing ones now need a slight tweak in their name or would do slightly better with other ones, then feel free to make those suggestions. Oh, we've got the, the Aegis of the Oak, or Aegis, or whatever. Rawr. These guys. Um, we'll call these Warriors of the Seven. The Old Gods and the New. Sons of the First Men. Nice. I like that. Enjoying that. Although, to be fair, I have just actually finished the season one to four box set, so I'm now desperately going. <laughs> is it not? Um, is it not April twelfth? I think it is when it starts up again. Season five. All right. Well, I'm not researching anything, so let's research some stuff. Probably more stuff to help my economy out. Growth in, uh, enables building of a city, a wagon, Lager. Okay, or that one, wealth. Yeah, we'll go for that for now. And then we'll go for this one. We've got some more money. Converting everything over here. It's good. Let's convert that when we've got some more stuff. Um, right, the angles. Really need to make them far more friendly with me. We need to get them on, on side. Well, met friend. Sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement, as you wish of them. 
I need to go against um, the Western Roman Empire a bit more to get them on task. Which we should be able to do with this army in the south, the Sons of the First Men. We should be able to push down and take Taraco from Rome or push over and take Ajax. So feel free to suggest... Oh, it looks like Rome... Oh, no. The Marco Mans have taken Rome. These guys are all desolate, so there's no point really pushing that far east. So we'll take our forces and go down here, I think. So... Not much else I can do this turn. I mean, I could disband troops and try and get some self-recruited stuff, but I don't want to risk that. Um, let's try and take out an army, hinder these guys. Success, but how much have we limited it? Only 25, so it's not going to do anything, really. We'll upgrade this. Um... Assassinate. Let's go and have an ability to assassinate. Oh no, we've got to have both of those skills so we can assassinate. Um, so I think, with that being the case, we'll increase our misdirect chance as well. And the next time when we get two points, we'll go for tracking and murder. Tracking and murder. Right. So... Giwis. We're going to risk moving up here because I don't think they've got any more forces. Steady as we go. That can challenge us. I think we can probably strike within the next two turns. They're going to get a reasonable garrison, but should be okay. Just need to get the Night's Watch back. Right, end turn. Well done, Esla. He survived. Oh, I should have checked out my, my new air. That's it. Let's see what goes on. They pulled back their forces, which is nice. Let these guys wander around a little bit, but peace was worth it. Our ancestors have spoken, and they um, have named you as true friends. Do we dare ignore the other world? Yeah, sure. I'll give you a hundred gold for non-aggression. I'm I'm up for that. Keeping you guys at bay for a bit. That sounds good to me. And the Geats keep pulling back, so it looks like I'm going to need to disband a f Well, matter of state. Stolen sword. Swords are possessions of pride, but such precious things can also cause uh, discontent. Your brother's boy claims another has stolen his sword. The accused denies it. Engage in faction politics. Okay. Food shortage in Britain. Infamy. Chance of having children. Curious. Oh dear. That's not going to help you out, chap. By all means, be curious, but uh, not going to help you out with the older populating the family. Rank gained. Ah, my spy. Yes, he's having a, he's having a jolly good time here. In fact, I should use you to go and kill enemy generals and what have you. Um, we'll go for authority increase because eventually, if we get it high enough, although he's got poor authority, you get critical success chance, but he needs loads more of that. I don't think we'll get that. That at least helps with corruption. I give us more authority. So let's do that. Right, Esla. Let's get you to. Let's get you to Londinium. I should have pulled this spy out. I think before I moved him. Let's get him up over here. These guys are just holding there. They're not going to take any winter attrition, but they're willing to attack me just yet. If I get rid of some of my mercenaries, I've got a reasonable garrison here. I've obviously got Nordic Warlord, Nordic Warriors. I've held back stronger forces. So let's get rid of the these guys. These mercenaries here. Yeah. And then I can probably untax things, or I can leave it going out. Ooh, Nordic Pikemen we can actually get. They actually sound kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I just took over Saxon Spears, though. Uh, are they worth it though? I've heard interesting things about pikes that, you know, not necessarily that great. Uh, I can get some slingers of my own. 
I think we need some more infantry right now. But pikes in a defensive... In this kind of siege defense would probably be a good idea. So we'll get three units of pikes. Then next turn, if I've still got the opportunity, I will disband. Well, actually, can I... Fight with us! It's a good life! That's going to be next time. That's fine. Um, we'll save that then for then. One extra unit down is not going to make much of a difference. These guys, we're going to go normal stance. They do have a small... They have an army. What's their garrison like? Thrall Spears. Nordic Warlord. Bastion Onagers. I have Onager, so I should be able to take it, so we're going to push in and take that next time. Whew, it'll be tough. Uh, it'll be all good. Uh, I'll use my spy here to try and slow these guys down. We can ruin provisions, which increase the fatigue, but we're going to try and misdirect them a bit. Critical failure. Ah, seriously, and he's been injured because of it. Right. Get it. Right. Let's sort out the faction politics. Make a new one. Sit both down and judge who is guilty. Judge them. I must be a wise king. Uh, Gewis there. Uh, oh, and some, someone was saying that um, I've got two more Gewis's coming up. So I've got one here. And I've got one here. So there will always be a Gewis. The king in the north, perhaps. Um, it would be great, actually, if Esla had a son called a Gewis. But Heroward has... Seemingly survived through the infant mortality stage. It's eight years old. Young boy. Esk is going to soon come of age. We'll start having the family. Ah, she's ready to do stuff. Marry and what have you. Probably to arrange her to be married to someone. Her abilities haven't come of age, though, yet. Or I haven't started getting them yet. No, she's not come of age. Excuse me, yawning. Um, if that happens soon. So... I think he's got slightly more legitimate children than he does his bastards. Uh, ah, Godric. Oh, we had a bastard from from Gewis. He's still got it in him. Godric will be the, probably the last son you have. Fair enough, though. Ah, and this is the new one. Edwald. Very nice from Aemir. Good, good, good. All right. Well, we're building up a good family tree from what I can what I can see. Seems to be doing all right. We've got the maximum number of governors, otherwise we'll get uh, Gewis in. Gewis number two. You want to progress the slippery slope, the ladder? Yes, he can. He can go up from replenishment rate. He is, he in, you know, he's a governor. Uh, none of those really help him as a governor. That doesn't help him, really. Uh, tax and public order actually does, so... Or well, you're in Frisia as well. Uh, oh, you're, you're my governor that's defending against the oncoming hordes. Um, a warlord integrity, unit experience for all units. Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so... Um, nothing really gonna, that's going to be benefit him. There's no, like, increased damage or anything. So, I guess that's replenishment for command of force. Recruitment costs all forces. Integrity, all forces, unit experience. Um... Oh, I don't know. Well, we're coming to the end of the pub. I guess a public order is always good to have and tax rate. So let's pop him down to being a judge, actually. Uh, unless you guys think that's the wrong decision, then let me know. But our economy is... Oh, God, it's looking good. So let's, um, let's try and take those taxes off, that increased taxes, because those guys are not happy. Oh, God. Oh, that was a substantial boost, but that does make this area happy. I mean, I guess I could pop it up again, to be honest. Could pop it up. Pop it up. Pop it up. But we're getting rid of more mercenaries, hopefully, next turn. Oh, it's all these... Ah, uh, these guys. Mercenary... Uh, mercenary Lancers. But uh, I think that's all we can do for now. So I'm just going to hit the end turn button. And then I'm going to wrap up this part, guys. So I do hope you've enjoyed... Hope you've enjoyed the names. Obviously, feel if there's any tweaks that should, could, would be made, then let me know. But uh, no need to send in any more army suggestions as I have a 
pretty good list of stuff that I can still use. But thank you all for engaging with that. I really like that. Um, yep, cool. They're not attacking me, so that's good. Good, good, good. And we'll be able to strike their settlement this turn, although they're probably going to be recruited a few units. But still, I think we've got enough to take it. Uh, as you guys know, I've not been the best with sieges, so feel free to give me detailed detailed battle plans of how I can go about sieging them uh, in the most effective way and obviously if that's all right for me to siege from the sea uh, or if whether I should just do it uh, land and then attack but um, obviously it's not a problem with cavalry or onagers because now in Attila those already deploy on the land uh, before the battle starts as well so I just have to land my ship so that means I could probably get in behind their defenses a little bit in their harbour hopefully I know they've obviously got a probably a couple of um garrison ships I'd have to avoid, but apart from that, do you let me know? Ah, oh, the sword. Diplomatic tone. A wise ruler. Ah, good. I am indeed. What's this? Hostile agent outcome. What to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, encourage dissent. Spring, glorious spring, inspired populace that we are. Rank gained. Cool. Oh well, she's really she's really pushing, pushing up, pushing up. Inspire own troops. Uh, authority. Authority gives us critical success chance as well, which is always nice. Wouldn't mind ways to increase my public order and things like that again, but we'll go for that because I want more authority anyway. Uh, and I guess we'll go for distract. Um, but where is it? Um, Giwis will have had that diplomatic. Uh, trade income. Our oh, diplomatic tone, that's what it does. Wow. 20% trade income. Tariffs. Nice. Nice. So, have they built up an army? No, they have not. So, do let me know, guys. Obviously, if I want to land... I've got to go all the way. It would seem it's making me go all the way down. Do a weird little thing there and get over. Whereas, obviously, I can attack straight from the sea this turn. Most of my forces are at full strength. Um, their actual fleet is actually away from the settlement. So could I potentially draw them all out by hitting them there? I wonder. That might be a case. But those are their garrison forces. I think we should be able to take them. Let me know. Uh, also here, I think I can probably... I need to probably keep the hunters because I don't have... All I can get is hurlers. Uh, I can obviously replace a fair few, but not all. Uh, my spy is... There's a spy agent over there, but we'll get the spy up over here. Try to take out some of these agents that are causing me trouble now got the pikes that should be good at blocking and holding I would have thought um, yeah pastures and things like that anyway wrapping up hope you've enjoyed don't forget to comment and subscribe until next time ciao for now